Well, they are usually one of the first on the scene, whether it's a fire burning out of control or a car crash, but firefighters say their paychecks don't reflect that in Murfreesboro. In about 30 minutes, the city council considers a budget with no pay raises, and firefighters don't like it. Channel 4's Larry Flowers has the story, new at 6.30. They put their lives on the line every single day. But Murfreesboro Firefighters Association Local 3035 say the men and women who serve don't get paid like it. We are not paid what we're worth. I certainly wouldn't qualify as a slap in the face, but there's definitely a sense of frustration on the members of the fire department's part. Back in 2004, Burris and Associates was paid $75,000 by the city of Murfreesboro to do a market analysis of city workers' pay. It concluded firefighters' pay was significantly below market value. It's at least 7% below the market average for firefighter pay. And that inequity has never been corrected. Tonight, the Murfreesboro City Council will be voting a second time on its proposed $159 million budget, a bare bones budget which doesn't call for pay raises for its 777 city employees. The city manager wants to wait until after the holiday sales figures come in and take a look at revenue in February before considering step raises. Another thing that is a concern for firefighters' union members is rising insurance premiums. But the city was able to take care of that. Provide a one-time $750 bonus this year to uh, all the city employees to try to help offset the, the fact that health insurance costs are, are going up. Right now, the Murfreesboro Fire Department has a Class 2 ISO rating, which means a significant savings on homeowners insurance policy. Local 3035 members just want to see a return on their paycheck for change. In Murfreesboro, Larry Flowers, Channel 4 News. The Firefighters Union president says 138 of the city's nearly 170 firefighters are members. A majority of them have second jobs to help make ends meet.